Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and you are in the Babe Cave today. Thanks for joining me if you're new here. Welcome. And this video is a little different than my normal handbags topic or unboxings, I should say. But it's still relating to handbag purchases. As you can see by the title, Are You Broke From Me? So if you're interested in ways that I save for these handbags, either contemporary or luxury, I have many tips and tricks and frugal ways that you need to know about. This video idea was not mine. It was a collaboration done with two other YouTube creators, um, which is This Is Danny O and With a Touch of Luxury. They both did videos on how they have these frugal habits. And so I wanted to throw in my tips and tricks of how I save on different uh, things outside of handbags just like they did. Um, so I will link both of their videos down below because they're great videos. You have to check them out. So if you want to know how I save and my tips and tricks on how I buy these handbags. So I'm just going to start listing how I save, how I'm frugal in a lot of ways. So um, one is I do my own nails and there is a collaboration uh, coming up about uh, nail polish so stay tuned for that but again I I am a control freak with my nails I right now they look kind of horrendous but um, I do like to paint I like to paint uh, a lot of things and we just painted my kitchen uh, this next one is important because a lot of companies end up trying to add charges to your bills that you did not add yourself. So I am a budgeter. I watch all the bills. I make sure that I'm not overcharged for anything, especially if you have AT&T. They love to add certain charges that you did not add. So don't be afraid to call. Because I have called, I have been with AT&T a really long time, so I am a, you know, upstanding customer of theirs and long term. So I can typically get them to adjust anything that I feel that is wrong on my bill or if they try to raise something that I did not approve of. So don't forget, you can call these corporate companies um, and talk to their customer service reps, but remember, be nice because you get more done with a sweet personality than a sour negative conversation so remember be nice this is something that i have tried to promote and i oftentimes forget to mention it i have a link down below to sign up for rakuten rakuten is a, an app that you need to download to get percent cash back. So the way it works is say you got a Michael Kors bag, you click into that Rakuten and you look for Michael Kors and say that day it has 5% cash back. You click their shop now. It takes you to the Michael Kors website. You find your bag purchase, you finish out the purchase, and then the next thing you know, that 5% of that purchase, you will see in your Rakuten. And Rakuten pays out every quarter, I believe. So, yeah, I get a, a and mine comes through PayPal. So, every four months I get cash back, which can go to a bag. <laughs> so, it's it pays to use these apps that give you cash back. And I'm sure there are more out there and I probably need to research more. So that's another one. I do not buy designer luxury shoes or clothes. One, it's not in my budget. Two, I really just don't care to spend $1,000 on a shirt. 
It's just not me. <laughs> and I think a lot of my audience can relate. <laughs> so that's a, another thing I don't do. I am now a stay at home mom. You know, I have a lot of jobs around the house. I keep everything running. You know, I bake, I cook, I clean, I do, you know, the normal things. Plus, I'm doing YouTube and I don't drive to a corporate job for eight to five, you know. So, guess where I'm saving? Gas. <laughs> I hardly fill up my tank anymore. So, that's another way I save. Another thing is I don't use a credit card on purchases of a handbag. Now, that's not to say I haven't used a credit card because I have, but I pay it off within the time limit. I usually, if I need to make payments, I will, you know, use Fashion File and they have a payment plan. Or I'll use Klarna, which is also a payment plan. It's usually four installments and you get your bag you get your bag immediately with Klarna um, and you're still paying those four weeks or however long off. But I do not want to burden a credit card of thousands of dollars for a handbag. I just, I won't do it. I have four dogs and none of them have to be professionally groomed. They can all be, they're all short haired, mainly short haired and I can brush them myself and we bathe them ourselves <laughs> especially my husband he is very good about bathing them more than me <laughs> um so that is a, an expense i don't have another tip is when it's your air conditioner on or your heat on i typically go with the utility companies where they say the more conservative thermostat temperature and guess what? It does save you money. So I might be a little warmer, a little colder, but you know what? Those are easy fixes for me because we have fans if I get hot and I have blankets if I get cold. <laughs> so I can serve on heat and air. Another way I tend to make money is if I'm not using something or if my family is not using, you know, for instance, we got a instapot and that was kind of the thing back in the day and we never used it but one time i think so that went up on facebook marketplace basically we broke even and it's out of the house so anything that's of value i will be the one to try to sell it and i love to sell things so that's the same thing with handbags i I typically don't use Facebook Marketplace for handbags because I don't have success on it. But any household items, I can sell. I have sold a lot of different household items that you wouldn't think would sell. <laughs> if it's priced right, you can sell it locally. <laughs> so that's another thing I do. Here's one. Now, a lot of people like to go out to eat, right? Well, in this economy, I eat out a little less, um, but you can sign up for rewards and deals on these apps. Like, you know, your, your local restaurants, maybe they don't have an app, but the bigger chains, they have apps and they have deals and rewards. For, so sign up for all those, you know, food uh, apps. Like for instance, we have a Whataburger now. And they have deals, a free burger sometimes, and if it's your birthday, you get a free something or other. So sign up for those apps. And also, they have discounts a lot of times. I don't do massages or facials. Uh, I use hyaluronic acid, you know, lotion for my face. I hope that's working. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I don't do those types of things. I think they're excessive and just not in my budget. And I really don't think I need them. <laughs> Let's talk about makeup. Well, I don't wear that much. <laughs> if I do, I get makeup from Walmart or Dollar Tree. <laughs> because I don't... I'm more of a natural person I just don't want to spend money on 
expensive makeup. Now, I watch YouTubers that do, and they look gorgeous, and it's beautiful, but that is not something I spend money on. <clears throat> Another way I save is, back to the food, is we shop at Aldi. If you have an Aldi near you, check it out. You will not be disappointed. We got $144 worth of groceries and our cart was basically full. You can save money at Aldi. <laughs> Trust me. Check it out. And then they have that awesome aisle of randomness that I fall into that trap sometimes. So go to Aldi. You'll save. And <clears throat> finally... Like I said before, I usually try to have one bag in, one bag out. Now that doesn't always happen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Sometimes something pops up and I'm like, I need it, I need it, like everyone. But I have several things listed for sale. I put my links down below of my Poshmark and Mercari. Um, in case you're interested, that's my how I sell my handbags. Or accessories. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me so, conclude by saying there are so many more ways. I probably have forgotten some, but these are, uh, I hope, helpful to you and your household and how you can save in other areas besides the handbags. <laughs> but, again, I do like sales and discounts of my handbags as well because I do not like paying full price. So this leads me into my next video ideas. And actually it was my husband's idea, which was brilliant. So he uh, suggested I do bags on a budget. So I'm gonna do a series of bags, you know, in certain price ranges where from the low end to the high end, you know? So I don't like to put myself in a box of I'm only going to get luxury or I'm only going to get contemporary. I'm not in that box. I like what I like and if it's in the budget, then I do it. So if you're interested, stay tuned for my little series bags on a budget. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you do. If you have tips for me, I will very much appreciate any tips on saving. <laughs> if I've forgotten anything, let me know. So again, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. And I'll, until next time, bye.